What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. Sit down and strap yourselves down, cause this is the biggest and most exciting reveal yet. No more to say, let's begin. I don't know where to begin. Unusually, Korokoro leaked this month much earlier than it usually does. I mean, this month's Korokoro magazine is supposed to come out more than a week away from now. Not only do we finally have gameplay, but also new Mega Evolutions confirmed, and some of them are mind-blowing. Let's start off with these Megas. First up, we have Mega Blaziken. Oh, this guy. I think we know enough about him. First off, we have three new Mega Evolutions confirmed. First up is Mega Sceptile, possibly the most epic one in this leaking. Upon Mega Evolving, Skeptile turns into a Grass Dragon type and gets the ability Lightning Rod. To go with this new Dragon typing, its overall physical appearance becomes enhanced into a more serious, powerful looking Pokemon. Sceptile was originally looked at as a fast Gecko Pokemon, but in its Mega form, it looks much more intimidating. Its tree type tail changes into an evergreen styled one, also resembling the base design of an Ankylosaurus's tail with that hard hitter at the end. Just imagine this thing using Iron Tail. Orange pinstripes also grow around Sceptile, and the simple yellow bombs it once had multiply and grow darker towards its tail. Its eye its turn orange and its pupils begin to bring out that dragon look more. Its leaves also have this orange tint and become much longer and sharper with even some resembling a sickle. I feel as though Sceptile would mainly get a large speed and offensive boost as well as getting a smaller defensive boost. Next up is Mega Swampert and holy does he look like a tank. Upon Mega Evolving, Swampert maintains its water ground typing but gets the ability Swift Swim. It undergoes a massive physical change in terms of size. Just by looking at it, you know it's going to receive a huge offensive and defensive boost, possibly at the cost of speed, but with Swift Swim, it's manageable. The variations in physical attributes are practically the same with a few exceptions. The two fins at the top of its head spread and a third smaller one forms in the center, ultimately turning its mud fish look into a more amphibian look. The spikes on the side of its face expand becoming much bigger and sharper and the armor like orange bombs on its hand multiply and spread out. Mega Swampert also gains black distinct fingers clinched to show tough fists and it looks like this Pokemon will pack a serious wall upon the offensive scale. This is what Anchor Arms does to you. And finally, Mega Diancie. What? Diancie is shown to receive a Mega Evolution in these upcoming games, maintaining its original Rock and Fairy typing. But nothing else is known because the person who took this photo focused more on the art for Mega Diancie and we can't make out what the text around it says. Originally, when looking at Diancie, it looks as though it has much more evolving to undergo. The rock below its body seemed to be random in comparison to the Pokemon itself. In addition to that, the Pokemon has parts of a diamond sticking out of the rock formation, which makes it look as though it was still incomplete. Diancie, being the cuter, more elegant, and more friendly Pokemon, has all of its characteristics enhanced by its form as it obtains its Mega Evolution. For starters, we can finally see its feet in this image, confirming that its lower half isn't just the rock. The diamond covered in carbon has fully bloomed into a larger diamond formation with a longer diamond surrounding it, branching as a larger diamond dress. The round stone on its head forms into a heart while it retains a similar body shape and design. The long ribbons complement its fairy attribute like it does for Sylveon. This overall leads me to believing that Diancie will receive a balanced boost after Mega Evolving, almost equally increasing its defenses, offenses, and slightly speed. Moving on, these new Kyogre and Groudon forms are known as prehistoric forms and are said to be the results of a regression called Ancient Devolution. This makes me think that Kyogre and Groudon were originally like this around the time they first fought centuries before the games take place, and maybe Team Aqua or Magma find a way to reawaken their original forms. But it only makes sense that Rayquaza also had a prehistoric form like Kyogre and Groudon. They all participated in the battle centuries ago, and they both went into a deep slumber. If Kyogre and Groudon underwent changes during this time, Rayquaza must have as well. We've already gotten news of Delta Emerald being trademarked for safety purposes, so it's clear that Rayquaza's primal form is going to revolve around Delta. And finally, Steven has an added goal in this revolving around learning more about Mega Evolutions, and at one point in the game, he's shown to use a Mega Charizard X against you. Now that we've got the news over with, it's time to speculate. It's what I do best. When Game Freak initially revealed Mega Venusaur, Mega Blastoise, and Mega Charizard, they hid the fact that Mega Charizard was actually one of two Megas Charizard could have. Since these leaks don't reveal any Mega Stone names, it's possible that one of these starters may be split into two Mega Evolutions as well. If this were to happen, I feel like Sceptile would be the one to have a second Mega Evolution. 
Charizard was the only one to receive a typing change of the Kanto Megas, and Sceptile here is shown to be the only one to receive a typing change of the Hoenn Megas. It would just seem out of the ordinary if Charizard was the only starter out of every generation to receive two Mega Evolutions. Diancie. Why Diancie receives a Mega Evolution in this game is beyond me. No Generation 5 or 6 Pokemon have gotten Mega Evolutions, and only 3 Legendaries even have Mega Evolutions. If anyone in the Kalos region were to get a Mega Evolution, it would be Zygarde, but nope, Diancie. But think about it, maybe Diancie is linked to the existence of Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Maybe Diancie will become a part of the main plot and adds in the twist of Mega Evolutions. Dancy does have a movie coming out in combination with the Wi-Fi distribution, so maybe we'll see a Mega Dancy in the movie. Never know. Here's a few things to think about. Why does Steven have a Mega Charizard X? Out of all the Mega Evolutions he could have, we all thought if he were to have a Mega Evolution, it would be Metagross, considering that's his signature Pokemon, just as how Gardevoir was Dianta's signature Pokemon. And also, if you look carefully, both Mega Sceptile and Mega Blaziken have a cross on their upper body. It doesn't look like Swampert has one, but what could this mean? It may not even mean anything at all, but it was something that caught my attention. But that's it for this huge news leak. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know which of the Horn Megas you prefer, Mega Blaziken, Sceptile, or Swampert. Personally, I'd go with Sceptile as he's always been my favorite. Official news is on its way and we may finally get actual gameplay and a lot more during E3 when Core Core is officially released and on the next Pokemon Get TV episode. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want to see a video on what secret bases could and should be like in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, go ahead and click on the video on the left.